you had oh, I'm on John Carpenter. Too, I'm so a system <laughs> engineer with Texas Instruments, <laughs> the battery management group. And what we have here is a newly released part that's been optimized for energy harvesting. It'll go from 5 microwatts up to 300 milliwatts. It's a boost converter with battery management, so it'll handle various battery elements from uh, nickel metal hydride, lithium ion, lithium polymer, as well as super caps. Super caps. And regular caps as well. And so we also handle photovoic PV. And what we do is we optimize the power extracted from that element as well as the thermoelectric. So here I'm harvesting the temperature difference between the hot lamp and the ambient air. And you can see the equivalent energy by seeing the flashing light. And so here we have a red light flashing from thermal. Here we have the green light flashing from uh, uh, the PV. We also put together a little wireless sensor network, which is being charged from a single crystal photovoltaic cell. We're charging a 3-volt battery. And then we're going into the normal EZ430 RF radio, and then we're broadcasting back temperature and voltage. And what that represents is a wireless sensor node, and you can use that to monitor various rooms and environmental conditions. And then the last type of energy harvesting we have here is uh, parasitic AC. So basically we have a little transformer that's scavenging the magnetic field off the current for running the lamp. We rectify it through a bridge rectifier, but the uniqueness of 504 is we're going to go ahead and uh, impedance match through that rectifier such that we optimize the power coming from it. And then we charge our battery and then run the wireless radio again. And so the, the three main things about 504 was it's low quiescent current, it's high efficiency for low power, so 5 microwatts to 300 milliwatts, and it's flexibility to handle all the various elements.